Hey guys, welcome back to another Stretchcation Saturday by Trade Sniper Sarah. Um, I did not take a poll this week on Twitter because we need to talk about TTO, Triangle They Out. It is a, another fun Robism that is somewhat hard to understand if you're a newer trader. So, like I said, um, triangle they out is a robism, or we sometimes just say TTO. It's just a quick way of talking. Um, and often Rob will follow it by get, or get going to the moon, or whatever you want it to be. Just go. So, my interpretation is there is a triangle. The tight stop guys just got shaken out or taken out, and now is the time to look for a reversal to get back in. So I prefer not to use the term TTO because I feel like it's confusing. And like I said, there's two different meanings for it. So one of the meanings can be when you're calling the top or the bottom of a broadening formation or a try as Rob calls them, which is also a good time to start looking for a reversal. Um, the other way that TTO is used is just for corrective activity when you have full time frame continuity. So you don't necessarily want to take the counter trend. Oh, just realized I forgot a word. Trade. You don't want to take the counter trend trade because you are fighting time frame continuity. All right, so here we have the Roku monthly chart. Triangle they out, broadening formation terms means we took out the previous low and we made a new low. Anyone who had their stops here at this 292 level got stopped out when we made a new low of 272. Because if you're a price action trader, and you don't know about broadening formations, why wouldn't your stop be here? So once price came and took that out, it's at exhaustion risk, which is a good time to be looking for a reversal to go the other way. Same thing with the, the top side. So you see how this 486.72 was the previous high. So we took that out just barely made a new high of 490 and then started falling back through immediately. So again, anyone who's like, oh, Roku just, you know, broke out of its tightening whatever range and we hit new all time highs. Well, that's when we call it exhaustion risk. And that's where we have an advantage over the breakout traders because the breakout traders in this case, in an all-time high scenario, don't take offense to this, that's the dumb money. So all the smart money was buying in during here and here and here, and they sold right at the top. And this kind of just goes back to an old trading term, which is buy support breaks, sell resistance breaks. So. It's pretty simple when you think of it like that. Okay, now I don't know if any of you remember a few months ago, but I said, June, you want to be watching Roku because we had this rev strat and then we had a pivot, pivot, pivot. So all of those were our targets because that's what the strat is. It teaches us targets. So target, target, target. And you see exactly what this chart did. So once we broke 357, the goal was to make new all-time highs. We did that. That is the end of the trade. You want to be out at that point. Okay, but now let's go to a TTO on the daily. In the strat, we teach entering on reversals back into the direction of time frame continuity. So what does that mean? So it means that on this day, 614, Roku triggered its monthly level, the 357 level. 
you don't always want to be the first one in. You'll hear Rob say this constantly. You don't want to be the first one in. So what is a TTO? So it's, remember, it's the second meaning. It's corrective activity, or you could refer to it as a pullback. So Roku triggered its monthly trigger and then fell back for two days. And then on this day here, let's make this yellow, make it nice and big. So this was a TTO, it was corrective activity. So just because you had a two up and a two down doesn't necessarily mean you want to short because you know that we have triggered the longer term participants. So what is the safest thing to do is wait for corrective activity to happen, wait for a TTO, then look for a strat reversal in, which was right here. You had a two down because it broke the previous candles low. And then the following day, this day, as soon as we opened, we opened right here. We went up, up, up. We tripped the 346. That's your entry using the long-term charts like we were we knew that this was a target and this was a target. Your initial stop goes there. We'll make the stop red. Okay, entry here, initial stop here. Every day, you're just gonna walk your stops up to the lows of every candle. You have no reversal against you, you have no corrective activity against you. And even if you did, it would probably just be another TTO where you could add to your position, but still, we had no lower low until this day here, and we took out almost all of our targets except that all-time high. Let's look at Twitter on the daily. So to a person who uses support and resistance for signs to go long or short, get murdered in these broadening formation scenarios because here's why. So somebody says, let's say a trader says, um, this right here, this is support. So I'm gonna go short when the price breaks below here. So we do, we do it this day, and we do it for one day. So then once the price starts coming back up, this person's gonna have to cover because they're in a losing position. Let's say you have somebody who says this is resistance. I'm gonna go long on a break of resistance. So that happens this day. And then it immediately falls back down. So they have to close their long because they're wrong. This was our original high, and then we got a new, a slight higher high. This was our original low, then we got a slight lower low. This was the previous high, then we got another one. So this is an example of, again, TTO at the top of a broadening formation or at the bottom of a broadening formation. And this was just fabulous because you, had, you just had two, two reversals all over the place. So you made a new high and then what happened? The next day you got a 2-2 two, two reversal. Then you made a new low. Then what happened? The next day you got a 2 down, 2 up reversal. Made a new high. Same thing over and over and over. You got a 2 up, a 2 down reversal. Which And then again, it happened again. You got a 2 down, a 2 up reversal. And then it happened again here. You had a 2 up and then a 2 down. But now, if you learn how to train your eyes, you will notice that we have been sideways and we are stuck in these three candles trading range. Whoop, see that? We will come down and test this low again. Bam, bam, beautiful. because every time we get a two up, it fails. Get a two up, it fails, becomes a three. This also became a three. So the buyers are not here anymore. 
we can all agree that NVIDIA was in a very strong uptrend pre-split, right? Right. So you have all these TTOs because you have longer time frame continuity in your favor. So meaning the daily, the weekly, the monthly, not even the daily, but the monthly and the weekly are green, which means you don't just want to short when you see a signal. You want to wait and then get back into the long side. Wait for price to make a new low compared to a previous day. Wait, get in to the long side. Wait, get in to the long side. Or add. All of these would be adds. You had an entry here. So a two down, a two up. You had a rough strat here. So you can have another add. You have another one here. Another one here. And then that's about it till it starts getting a little choppy. But train yourself to see these. TTOs, um, you can also pretty much refer to them as bull flags, which I know we don't talk in those terms, but it's healthy corrective activity before trend resumption. Okay. I think that's it. If you have any questions, please ask me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye.